Hey guys, it's Kyle here. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a quick little thing today for like a band promo or something like that. Uh, it's going to, whenever you have the box come over here and it reveals text that you couldn't see before and it's going to have transparency or something like that. Uh, and here's what it's going to look like. Alright, so now you see here I already have some text here. It's pretty centered. I'm alright with it. It's for the tutorial. Um, I'm going to have the Eyes of a Trader font right here. I'm going to make it white so that we can see it in a second. I'm going to take my rectangle tool. I have a dark red color selected. I'm just going to um, make the rectangle all along here. It doesn't matter if it goes off to the side. Um, you can always change the size later. I'm just going to bring it up. And that looks pretty good right there. Maybe, maybe change the size a little bit. Um, if it's basically centered, you can hold Alt and you can um, make it so it adjusts off of the center point. But mine, I just need to um, get this up maybe a pixel or so. Alright, that's good. Um, as you can see, it basically matches the um, like album art and everything. You're going to want to control click on the eyes of a trader text and then you can hide it. And then after you right click the shape layer, rasterize it, and then you hit delete. And now you have the transparency. So, I'm going to leave this breathless text in here just as a reference for After Effects. I'm going to do save for web and devices, PNG24 have transparency checked, hit save, I'm just going to overwrite this, and now we're ready to go into After Effects, I already have a song imported, now I'm going to import the PNG file, make a new composition, 1280 by 720 um, I have 24 frames per second, but it depends on whatever footage you're working with. Um, yeah, now going to import the song, now this part that I was going to use is about a minute through, so I'm just going to kind of go through here and guess where it's at. About right there, I guess. Right there is good. Put that at the beginning. I put the eyes of the trader transparency in there. As you can see, the background's black, so the eyes of the trader is black in there. Um, I'm gonna make a new layer, a new solid. It's gonna be gray. Uh, you can always hit make comp size, make it 1280 by 720. I'm gonna put it below that. Um, see that looks pretty nice I guess. Uh, you can go to effect, generate, ramp. Um, we'll make it a variation of like a gray to gray I guess. I'm gonna make it radial. Um, just gonna zoom out and drag this down. Actually, gonna make this a little brighter. Yeah, kind of like that. Um, <sighs> let's see. Um, what you want to do is we're gonna make a new text layer. I'm gonna try and duplicate this. Well, yeah, we're gonna duplicate the breathless. So, I think the font that I used was the bold version of this. Yeah. And I'm um, just going to try and line it up and get it to the same size. Yeah. 
uh, the spacing is different in my After Effects and um, Photoshop. So there's also a way to do some easy 3D looking stuff right there. You can have different spacings, but um. So let's see. I do have it spaced in there. Okay. This is really weird. It's rather odd. Alright, well, anyway, that looks pretty good. It's, um, it's about centered with it. So now we're going to take this rectangle tool. It's going to make a mask. Make sure you have the eyes of the trader layer selected, the PNG one. You're going to um, go over here and make sure that you can outline the box uh, let's see you can um, go into the masks and then the mask path, the shape you can um, just You can change the pa the path right there. Um, we're gonna make a keyframe. I'm gonna say around four seconds or so, uh, so that that's where it is. Go back a little bit, and then we're going to hold shift so it's in line and just bring it off the page. So now you see it just kind of goes in with the transparency and everything. Um, we're gonna move breathless up a little bit. Maybe over. Oh, okay. Just like that. Um and then you can do whatever you want. You can add any effects. Like you can add drop shadows for all the layers and things like that. Or whatever you want. It's not really it's just kinda, you know whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna try to make this sort of a dark outline, making it multiply, make it a little bit bigger. And bring the opacity down. So it's kinda hard to see, you know, but I mean it's still there. And then for our text over here, we could have. Um, I don't know if we should really do anything with that. You know, in case of the drop shadows, things like that, whenever you're masking it, if it'll mess with it or not. But uh, do a little RAM preview. It's really simple. can mess with the opacity of this, keyframe it, zero, bring it over here, and then bring it up to a hundred, now I got that nice little fade, now we can even fade in the gray solid from black. Now I got this. I'm gonna try and sync this up a little bit more. I get it faster. And then you know you can just hit everything. Hit T and then keyframe it all. Just fade it out right there. 
make the audio fade out there too. Line it up. Really short and sweet thing. And then just gonna go to composition, add the render queue, do whatever you want. I'm just gonna use H264. Audio output, okay. And then you hit render and you're done. So, yeah. Show me what you guys can make. You can apply this to so many different things. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do it too. This is one way, and it's pretty easy. Um, if you like using Photoshop too. So, yeah, have fun.